Hey guys, just a quick reminder that April is the last month that you can get entered to win the Hush Truck with Mountain Ops. All you have to do is shop on mountainops.com website, purchase anything, enter the code HUSH at checkout, and you're automatically entered to win the truck. If you purchase any Hush Signature Series Ignite Lemonade products, either the tub or the trail packs, you get 10 extra entries. Anyways, just a reminder, all the details are in the description box. Enjoy the vlog. What's up guys? Welcome back. Another Hush Life vlog. Our weekly update series we try to do a vlog every week that is a little more current up to date and fill you guys in with what's going on where we're at and what we're doing so i'm sure you can guess i am out here looking for elk sheds again hopefully you guys are watching all the videos on the shed tour been uploading those as they happen and the last ones that went live were of me and my brother when we had that killer day big white set small white set and two big brown sets probably the best day of shed hunting this year so far but i'm actually way way south came down here to shed hunt and hang out with a buddy drail and we are in the craziest jungle that i've ever shed hunted for antlers this stuff is so thick so rocky and surprisingly when wherever you can get these big bundles of grass which I know are gonna be hiding some sheds. Gonna spend a few days down here this week, and of course I'm documenting it to make to make videos for the channel. At least this time of the year. You guys can always expect some shed hunting videos from me, but I'll be I'll be down here for like five, six days. Gonna meet up with Shed Crazy uh, tomorrow. I think tomorrow night, maybe tomorrow morning if he gets out early enough. And yeah, guys, that's kind of what I'm doing. So that's my little update for this section. Hopefully you guys that are shed hunting are having some good luck. Let us know in the comments below. You guys finding anything? Slow year, good year? Let me know in the comments below. Good morning, how are we? Welcome back to the weekly Hush Life vlog. So if you guys don't know, we are trying to upload five days a week. So Sunday through Thursday, and then we've actually been putting up a bonus video every Friday. New series called how to hunt a new state. We've been putting some of those up to help you guys apply for some of these states maybe you've never applied for, but Thursday is vlog day. This is my weapons of choice for the next four to five days. I am headed out tomorrow to go to Texas, Dallas, Texas. I'm gonna go fish with my good buddy, Zach from Stealth Cam and a bunch of his buddies. So I'm getting all my GoPro stuff ready because I wanna capture all of the content. I wanna make a really cool bass fishing series for you guys. So hopefully three to four days of us catching some big bass. According to those guys, the uh, weather is looking good, but the prediction of us catching a lot of big fish has been strong. I'm going to have a GoPro on my chest, hopefully at all times. I'm going to have a GoPro with this extend a battery. This will last for eight hours. So I can just put this on the front of the boat with this clamp and just run all day long, capture all the hook sets, all the fails, all the catches, anything that might happen. This new girl, she's uh, the new GoPro 7 Silver or White or whatever it's called. Anyway, that's gonna be for, you know, the under the water stuff. Hey, Mr. Fish under the water, got a picture of you. I'm gonna be running this camera as well for vlogging. I haven't fished much with the chest mount. I've watched a lot of videos and it's a really cool angle. So I'm gonna put this on and go and try to get some footage with it right now in my backyard, just to see how it looks. But most importantly, I haven't bass fished for a long time. I didn't grow up bass fishing. I got into it when we moved to California like six, seven years ago. And a good friend of mine got me into it and I was big into it down there. And then when I moved back to Idaho, I really haven't done a whole lot of it. So if you have bass fished for yourself much, you know the old bait caster comes into play when you're bass fishing. I used to be really good with this thing, but it is very easy to bird nest a bait caster. So I'm gonna put the GoPro on, go out and practice doing a little casting with this bad boy on the end of it. Um, 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 um. <laughs> That is my target. That is a bass on its bed. So I want to cast just past its bed and then bring the swim bait to the bed. Oop, just off of him. Wouldn't have bit it. Oop, just off of him again. That was awful. 
It won't bite it when there's grass on it. Oh, bam, fish. Let's see if I can catch my dog. Want it, Rose? Right here. I got Rosie. Oh. Get it, Rose. Get it. Get it. Well, that worked out for the most part. The video is good. The audio is very subpar. Can't figure out why it was like muffling rubbing when I was walking. I'm not going to be walking on the boat, but still the audio wasn't the greatest. I think the mic might be down here. I don't know, if you guys have used a GoPro like that on a chesty in the past, uh, what do you do to increase your audio? I think that Eric has a mic for his or something that might help out, but I don't know. I'll figure it out, but that's why I went and tested it. Uh, I kind of figured out where the angle was, and on these new GoPros it actually has a screen, so when it's on here I can kind of see the angle that I'm getting. But this is going to be fun. I think we're going to capture a lot of good content. I just want to tell you guys thanks for the continued support. Thank you so much for supporting us over the years, watching the videos, uh, maybe purchasing some of our merchandise. Whatever it is, we appreciate it. I don't ever want you guys to not know how much we appreciate you guys at home. You're the reason that we're allowed to do what we do, and uh, we're very blessed and uh, humbled by your guys' support. So thank you, and uh, I'll see you guys next week, okay? Well, guys, this week I have been... All over from New Mexico to Arizona, and on this trip I'm with my buddy Ben Sandal. So, we have, I think, two days of shed hunting videos that'll be coming out on the channel. This will just be for the Hush Life vlog, the weekly update, but we both found a brown today. So, I can't give you spoil, I can't spoil everything, but there's Ben. Right through the water and the grass there. You can kind of see the main beam over there. Mine's over there on my backpack. But we've been hiking all day, one brown each, what, one chalk you found? Yeah, I found one chalk. One old chalk that he left behind, but we're just here oh, filling whole. up the water bottles with spring water. This stuff is the bomb, look at it. <laughs> Got a lot of rain and snow this year, so there's plenty of water in these canyons. This is a natural spring. Not sure if somebody built this years ago or what, but pretty cool place look how green it's getting man spring is definitely here just wanted to film down here for the weekly vlog just to kind of give you guys an update of what i've been doing i traveled i did a week straight of shed hunting and now it's time to go home i have a nine hour drive we have probably an hour and a half hike out hour to town and nine hour drive so once i get home i'll start plugging away editing all the shed videos from this week but uh hopefully you guys are enjoying the vlog i've been all over heck all over dude <laughs> for not a lot of sheds but the shed videos are coming trust me look at that rub by the way right through the water you can see a little coos deer rub today we saw two coos deer does and i'll tell you what those things can hide big time especially in this brushy country but yeah i thought i'd do a quick little clip hope you guys are having a good day and i hope you guys are enjoying the vlog i'm just in my office doing some work today and i'm currently watching our buddies at born and raised outdoors they are doing a lunchtime live chat talking about it looks like uh the clothing the gear the systems that they're wearing give you a little glance always uh gotta support the friends you know born and raised the hunting public mr shed crazy the guys that are doing the youtube stuff um but yeah we've got a couple samples that just came in looking at doing some arrow wraps and some veins so we are uh, hopefully going to have those available for purchase on our website later this summer uh, just wrapping up a few little details and I'm about ready to get packed up. So we'll take a little gander downstairs. I'm uh, going to be heading to North Carolina to do a little turkey hunting with a good friend of mine. So I'm super excited about that because I've never been to any of the Carolinas. Honestly, I haven't spent a lot of time on the East Coast and I've certainly never hunted the Eastern turkey. So I talked to him today. Fingers are crossed. Sounds like the weather's going to be okay for us. Uh, a buddy of his killed a bird yesterday. He said they're still kind of hand up, but he's hoping that by next week we'll have an opportunity to like lure some of those toms away from the hens that are there. It's been a while since I've killed a turkey. Casey and I uh, unsuccessfully tried last year, and so we're hoping to redeem ourselves. And uh, it always helps to go out with people that are, again, better at things than you are. And my buddy Jordan's a great turkey hunter, knows a lot about it. And so I'm just excited to go see some new country. This little guy showed up in the mail today. 
So this is the uh, the new rangefinder from Vortex. It's the HD 4000. We actually had a chance to play around and test it out in Colorado this year when Mark Boardman was hunting with us. He had a prototype that uh, we were able to kind of mess with, but if you guys have owned any of the Vortex uh, range Ranger series, either the 1500 or the 1800, I would honestly, if we're being totally transparent with each other, I would say they're just kind of, they're okay. At times there'd be maybe a little bit of a, a delay, kind of slow, uh, depending on the weather situation and where the animal was you were trying to range, particularly like long, longer distances. A lot of times it wouldn't quite register as fast as you would hope. And this is quite a bit of an improvement from what we saw in Colorado. So I'll uh, give you guys a first look at this because I haven't even opened it yet. Packaging, nailed it. Got Allen wrench, got a bungee, I'm a fan of that. Lens cloth, owner's manual, the bungee cord. Different case there. So you can see if uh, you've owned the Ranger 15 or 1800, it definitely has a different appearance to it. It's certainly a little bit larger. So when you unscrew the battery cap, they've got a little protective cover on there. Disregard that. Screw that back on. It's got the clip, I usually take the clip off because I put it in a bino harness, so I'm gonna remove these. So now it's a little cleaner for when it goes into uh, my bino case. Okay, so I've got the battery installed now. Just working. We got the eye relief cup here, which you can move up or down. Let's see if we can get a quick range through here. Pretty fast. Out the window of the office. So I'll be taking this with me to North Carolina. Obviously not gonna be glassing or having to range too far with turkeys, but uh, first time to get out in the field, it'll be awesome. Just based on what we saw though in Colorado, this is going to be a significant upgrade. We were a bit able to get ranges out to like 1100 plus yards, which is way further than what we'd ever shoot. Uh, but it was real fast, real reliable, and definitely Vortex did a great job on uh, knocking this one out of the park. Anyways, we'll, uh, I'll show you kind of what I'm packing for this trip. Give you a quick little look. I've had a few people comment that they actually enjoy seeing some of the gear that we take with us. So uh, we'll kind of show you what I'm going to take to North Carolina. So this is my little man cave, man room. I don't know exactly what the weather's supposed to be. It doesn't sound like it's going to be too incredibly cold, but we are going to be in the mountain areas. So. I'm taking gators mostly for tick protection. Doesn't sound like there's a ton of them, but just in case. This is uh, the new lightweight gloves that First Light offers. Then a fingerless pair. Got the hat, face mask. I'm undecided if I want to go with the guide pants or the wool obsidian pants. So one of those. Then I like to wear the wick base layer. So this is just a standard crew. And I also have the wick hooded one which I really am a big fan of, of hoods they help keep you warm when it's chilly keep the sun off the back of your neck when it's hot and then I've got the kiln which is just a little bit of a heavier weight if it's kind of uh, a little bit more brisk in the morning the soft shell jacket and then the new Brooks down sweater uh, if it happens to be a little colder got the hush hat for those of you that are, have asked, the flat brim fusion and cipher hats will be back in stock on our website next week. And then the bent brim should be coming in the first week or so of May. Got the new rangefinder that we just kind of went through. Some of the merino boxers. Not much of a turkey collar, but I do have some calls I'm gonna take to my buddy. 
These are the Phelps turkey calls. A little pouch, so I've got some of the ones that I've used already in there. A little crappy old slate call. I take a trail camera just to see if I can get some 4K footage. A pad to sit on. Crispy Colorados, which I wore in Arizona on the coos deer hunt. Kill bag, knives, headlamps, things of that nature, first aid kits. Got the tripod so we can try to get this on film. Gonna have to pack the shotgun out to North Carolina. So if you watched the video from a couple weeks ago, Casey showed you his shotgun. I have the 18i synthetic model, which is chambered in three and a half inch mag, and that will be my turkey weapon of choice. Gonna have to get out in the next couple days and shoot this guy, make sure everything's looking good, get him patterned for the turkey hunt, but so far this thing has been pretty money. And then I've got uh, the heavy metal turkey loads. These are only three inch. I might throw in a couple three and a half inches. Anyways, that is what I'm pretty much taking. Probably throwing a pack as well. I don't really have like a turkey vest that if you guys are out in the Midwest or the East Coast, you do a lot of turkey hunting. It sounds like uh, those vests that have like the built-in seats are kind of handy. I don't have that, so I'm just going to throw in a backpack, put everything I need in there. We are going to be run and gun turkey hunting in North Carolina. Not a whole lot of decoy action. Certainly not sitting in a blind, so I'm excited about it. Getting out and doing a lot of hiking, a lot of uh, spot and stock style, and just trying to intercept these birds if, uh, if we have an opportunity. So that's what I'm throwing in the bag. Probably throw in some binos and then put the rangefinder in here, and that'll cover me with my optics. So uh, I'll be doing that, and uh, with any luck, we'll have some turkey footage to show you in the coming weeks. Sun